it pushes some water out of the way. We say it displaces some water. See, displace, place away, you with me? So it's as though this model boat of science we're making a hole in the water shaped like this. Now take a look. This is the aquarium of science. And it's filled right to the brim. As the boat settles in, it displaces some water. It runs over the rim, down the scutter, into this pitcher. Now the model boat of science displaced this water. In fact, all boats displace water. In fact, everything you put in the water displaces some water. Here, watch. This is the water level of the dunk tank of science. Watch. Using the latest in dunk tank technology, I am going to displace some water. You ready? Three, two, one. Pretty cool, huh? I displaced some water, right? Just like the model boat of science. Now watch this. You place the boat on the scale, which right now is in balance. Now the boat takes it out of balance. Now I'm going to put the water that we displaced earlier on the other side. See? It just balances. Now, watch this. Take the displaced water, take the water, put it back in the hole we had earlier. That's one. Here's the second. It fits exactly. Isn't that cool? You can make a boat that sinks. Not that you normally wanted to do that, but it does show you a lot about displacement. Try this. Take a piece of clay and mold it into a boat like this. Okay, it might not be a great boat, but at least it floats. See? Now take the boat and mold it into a block. It sinks. See, when the clay is in the shape of a boat, it displaces the same amount of water as it does when it's block, but it ends up floating. The shape of the clay makes the difference. Let's do this again and measure how much water gets pushed out of these balls. These are the same amounts of clay. as you'd expect, it floats. I mean, it's, it's hollow. So it easily displaces as much water as it weighs, and it ends up floating. Let me ask you this. Here's a tennis ball. Cut this one, and it sinks. A rock sinks. We say it's negatively buoyant. A piece of wood floats. We say it's positively buoyant. Now, what about this? It's the rock wood. Could be. So you think that if you change the shape of it, it might flip? 
and that's possible. So the gum, does it weigh more equal to or less than the water? Less. When it's safe. Weigh it weighed more, right? Okay. So why did it float?